Y'all, it's the weekend and I always try to make something sweet, like a little treat for being good during the week, you know what I mean? And plus, somebody told me years ago that weekend calories don't count. And although I know that's not true, <laughs> it sounded really good, didn't it? And it's hotter than blue blazes outside, so I like to make something that's cool. And this is classic, it's been around, I've had it since I was a little girl. And it's so, so easy. It's just the graham crackers, pistachio pudding mix, so you need meal, yes you do, and Cool Whip, that's it, right? I know, and I've got some pistachios to put on top and in our pudding, okay? And that's it, it's so simple. And y'all, I hope y'all can find some pre-shelled pistachios, I could not. So my thumbs are hurting. I've been up here shelling and shelling. First thing I want to do is get this pudding. It's instant, so you know you have to add the milk and let it sit for about five minutes. And it is two 3.4 ounce boxes. And y'all know I'm going to put the recipe under the title um, on Facebook and um, in the description box on YouTube. So no worries about that. Y'all just enjoy just enjoy. Yeah, it is so hot, but this morning is Sunday morning. John and I get up early on Sunday morning and drink coffee together, and we try to sit on the front porch because that's the only morning out of the entire week we actually get to sit together in the morning and drink coffee without everybody scattering a whole bunch of different ways. So, uh, when we were sitting there this morning, I notice, even though it's hot, 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 and I do two cups per box, so it's gonna be four cups of whole milk, okay? And I'm not skimping out on the milk because this is a treat, right? So whole milk. But anyway, when we were sitting there on the porch this morning, knowing it was gonna get hot, hot, hot today, over 100, you could feel, are y'all counting for me? Four, I think this is four. You could actually feel a little, teeny tiny breeze like it's mid-august so it's like a little glimpse into the fall is what i'm trying to say i'm wanting to scoot this bowl toward me guys but above us is another camera trying to get it right on top of everything so i can't scoot y'all gotta keep reminding me I tell you. Okay, all I'm doing is just mixing this in. And this pistachio pudding, it's got little bitty tidbits of pistachios already in it. I just think that's fantastic that you can buy that in the store and just add milk and look what you already have. And it tastes so good. Do y'all like pistachio pudding? I do too. All right, we're gonna let this firm just a moment. All right, I'm gonna scooch it just a little bit this way. And I've got a nine by 13 dish, okay? Any kind of dish you have that's about nine by 13. And if you don't have a nine by 13, you can make another dish work. You sure could. Um, might be a little thicker or a little thinner, you know, when you make it. And this is a 14.4 ounce box of graham crackers. And you simply open them right I know it's so easy but it's so very good and honestly I love it after it's sat for 24 hours because the pudding mixture yeah if I can get into these things makes um makes your honey grams like turn cake like you know and this little guy and you need this whole box he's got a little break on him no big deal, okay? Seriously. No big deal. You just make it work. And you just start lining the bottom of your 9 by 13 And also, I'll try to move it around and see would it be, would they go better this way? You know what I'm talking about? This way or that way? And I think they would go better that way. So, we're going to move these around. Yes, we are. I started filming above me because I'm going to try to, if it's not showing up well down here, which I pray it is. I'm always moving my camera around 
And some of y'all will say, you just need to do this. It's not that easy, trust me. It isn't that easy, I promise you. It's not that I don't want you to see what I'm doing. I've worked so hard. So, yeah, it's very, very frustrating. It's just not that easy. But, anyway, and it used to be. The camera apps have changed, or the way that they're presented on Facebook has changed. Ah! You know, and I'm from the old school. We don't like change all the time like that. So, yeah, I don't know what the deal is. Okay, do y'all see it's already thickened a bit. Yeah. So I'm going to get rid of my whisk. You sit there and be sweet. And now I've got Cool Whip. And this is a big 16-ounce container or one pound of Cool Whip. And we need to divide it. So I'm going to put half in here and then we save half. So if you don't find the big one, you can get two 8-ounce containers is what I'm getting at, right? So here we go. I'm just gonna eyeball about a half. Kinda like that. And I guess if you didn't want to do that, I like that fluffy white Cool Whip on top, but you wouldn't have to if you didn't want to. I'll just set that to the side because we're gonna need that for topping. And we're gonna fold this in. Yes, we are. But yeah, I could feel just a little bit of a breeze this morning and it gives you like hope <laughs> that it's going to cool off a little bit. It does, it does. Okay, y'all. I want to taste this so, so much, don't y'all? Yes. All right. We're going to do several layers. I think we're going to need about three layers, so we're going to need about a third at a time in our 9 by 13, okay? So, I said I was going to put this in. Y'all don't care. I'm, I'm going to switch this out. I'm going to put this in something I can measure because I want to be able to tell y'all. I want to be able to tell you how many cups on each layer because a lot of you will ask, and I'll be like, well, I don't know. I just put about a third, and that's how I normally cook, but... You know, that's not, people want to know, you know. I know that's not real accurate, you know, and so we want to get all our layers. So I'm going to put it in something else, and then we'll switch it out. And then I can tell you how many cups this is and how many cups to put on each layer. And that will help us all, won't it? Yeah. And y'all don't mind, those of y'all that like the talk, y'all don't mind if I sit here and do this with y'all. No, you don't. Y'all asked me the other night, I showed y'all John and I were playing video games, waiting on our movie to start. We went to go see the movie Gran Turismo, which is a racing movie, which if you've been hanging around us for long, you know John raced first 15 years of our life together. So... Um, we see anything racing. Yes, we do. And that was our life. And when I say we race, I always say, I said that one time I said we raced. Y'all, this is eight cups, okay? So, <laughs> three and eight is what? I know. Jeez. Jeez Louise. Let's see. We'll do two cups. Two and a quarter. Two, and like maybe a quarter of a cup. Does that sound pretty good, y'all? Anyway, the reason why I, I said one time we raced and everybody was like, oh, you raced too, Amy? Well, no, but we raced as a family because I'm telling you, you work every night on that vehicle. You wash, you clean, you do maintenance on that vehicle. I washed and cleaned uniforms and helmets and then we were back racing all weekend and we would race friday and saturday night guys so we raced as a family yes we did so that's why i say we raced because the entire family we didn't take family vacations because racing time is during the summer right so yes we used to race for 15 years but um the boys loved it for the most part, 
I love when you're doing a video, you're like, maybe all these be in one piece. Well, no, no, they're not. Of course not. Right? But that's okay, because we're in real life, aren't we? I know. I know, we are. So that was two and a quarter cups on the first. And then I'll do two and a quarter more cups. Somehow or another, I'll just, I don't know, I'll say, because you can't say three cups, right? I know. Let's see, since I did the graham crackers that way on that side, I'm going to start this way so they'll be even. Now, you get back together, buddy. You got to be back together. Yes, you do. But anyway, that was the movie we went to see, John and me, because it was a racing movie. But we also went, it's gotten so hot and we worked so much during the week on this farm and, and uh, off the farm that um, we, John just said, hey, let's go, see, let's go see some movies. It's too hot like to sit out and watch the sun go down. You know, it's just gotten so hot outside. So, y'all see, I'm just doing a line here, filling up, and then you've got your little perforated edges there. And so you can just kind of fill in as you go. And now I'm going to do about two and a quarter, two and a half, maybe. But anyway, the other movies we saw was Indiana Jones, the newest one is out. And it's just like the others, which we love, because we were kiddos when we saw the first Indiana Jones. So, you know, you're diehard fans. So, anyway, guys, yeah, about a third of this mixture whatever that is. Oh, and I loved, I'm, I want to do this. And um, in the fall, I love to do this very same recipe, but I will use cinnamon flavored graham crackers. And I will use French vanilla pudding and I will put pureed pumpkin, a can of pureed pumpkin in it. And um, maybe some pumpkin pie spice and or like cinnamon and nutmeg things of allspice and i like to put cream cheese in that as well and you know you could even cheat then and you can get cream cheese pudding and then do your pumpkin canned pumpkin so and it's a very good fall flavor but right now that just doesn't sound so in this hot weather right it's like what mm -hmm. okay okay guys now here we go with our third layer you see, this could go quick, quick, fast. I'm just talking and enjoying y'all's pretty faces today. Y'all are all so sweet to me. So, so sweet. Another movie we went to go see recently is um, Mission Impossible. It's the latest Mission Impossible. And we went to, we went to go see the, fast, the latest Fast and the Furious, of course. And that's about it. Oh, we saw Oppenheimer. Yeah, that movie. It's got a lot of good actors, and it's very well written. And it's about the atomic bomb, you know, and all that, and how it changed world's history, you know. For the worse, right? I know. Now we've got nuclear junk everywhere. But anyway, it's a good, it's a pretty good movie, too. It got really long, but um, it's a good movie, so. And it shows you things that, like, you... I didn't know, like you don't learn in history about it. It showed you different little things about it, you know, like how they built the whole entire town um, out there in the desert here to do those testing and everything. Um, so anyway, it's, it's pretty interesting. It is, but it's long. Okay, I'm trying to break these up and they are misbehaving on me. Y'all gotta behave. Behave, little graham crackers. I'm always fussing at stuff that won't be what what it was created to be. It was just created to be a graham cracker and it's just breaking up all wrong, right? So it just needs to be what it was created to be. A graham cracker. Yes. Okay. This is our third layer, y'all. And if I'm kind of measuring correctly, we'll have enough to spread. Y'all know I'm going to switch back to my spatula because I'm so glad y'all are like me and y'all don't mind me taking an extra little moment to get all the goody. 
I know that in food videos and food shows, they're trying to just not use up too much time, but I'll see them not using spatulas and y'all, it drives me crazy too. Y'all are just like me. <laughs> oh boy, heaven help us, right? I know it. We had our preacher today. He was a guest. He was an Arkansas Razorback. <laughs> and he was showing us a lot of um, football films and videos and stuff. But he showed us another one. And I really liked it because it was God talking to a, a guy. It was a little skit. I'm going to try to find it on YouTube and share it. It was so cute. And he said something playing the part of God about... You're always comparing yourself to others instead of to me. And I thought, oh, guilty. I am so guilty of that. Yes, I am. Because I will. You know, you're like, well, are we doing as good as them or uh, worse than that? You know, we do. I do. I do do that. I do do that. Yes, I do. I said, that's right. I'm just supposed to be comparing myself to God. Am I doing worse than God? Yes, all the time. And I just need to try to do better toward that direction. So that was my little lesson for the day. I wrote that down. Do y'all take notes? <laughs> I do too. I'm the note taker. Writing, writing, writing. Okay, y'all. This looks so pretty and cool. And I'm getting it all over me. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Hmm. Okay. Let's see if we have enough to cover. And... We don't. Well, I declare lies, 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 lies. I have another box. Yes, I do. So, it'll be all right, guys. Let's put this together. <laughs> I don't think he's going to go together. Let me put that right back here. And let me grab the rest of these little bread crackers in another box. Hurry, 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 hurry. Alright. Hurry, hurry, hurry. We had a baptism today. We just had all sorts of fun stuff at church today. Um, good fun stuff. Yes, we did. Um, John's cousin, Amy... She, every one of these are broken, guys. Really? Seriously? My above video, they're going to be like, man, she needs to start over. Not. No. But anyway, John's cousin, Amy, she's a teacher. And um, God bless all of you teachers. Um, whew, yes. God bless you. Uh, but anyway, she, ha she does this every year. She gets all the children to bring their backpacks, their books, their lunch boxes, whatever they're going to be taking to school on this day before school begins. And we all pray over all of them. We have a large prayer, and you wouldn't believe all the people at the front. Um, like one year, I had Addie with me. And so Addie, she said, Y'all get up here. Y'all are grandparents. You want to be praying for them. And so we all went to the front with all the backpacks. And today it was quite a crowd up front. She has got to wear that as quite a little production. And I love it. It's so sweet and cute. And just praying over all the teachers and faculty. And, you know, the school year is always crazy to begin with. And I remember being a kid and being so anxious at this time, like, who I was going to be in my class, was any of my friends going to be in my class, and who was going to be my teacher. We didn't get to find out. Addie's already been and found out, well, all my grandchildren, they get to go find out who's in their class and who's their teacher, and I think that's wonderful. It kind of takes that excited, anxious anxiety off of you of, like, what's going to be happening, you know, on the first day. So, I like that they say that. Okay, now we're going to take our other half of our Cool Whip. And I was supposed to... <laughs> I was supposed to put these pistachios in the pistachio pudding to add to. I was going to soup it up a little bit. 
And I went to yakking and talking with y'all, so we'll just sprinkle them on top. How about that? That'll work too. But if y'all want to put some in the pudding and then sprinkle some on top, yes, don't be blabbing and yakking like old Amy. Oh, Amy. John's out bush hogging this evening. He's been hauling, cutting hay and everything, and our pastures needed bush hogging. So he's doing that. But y'all, he is in an air conditioned tractor. So don't feel sorry for him. It's got air conditioning and it's got a radio, Bluetooth, you know, Wi Fi. I mean, good grief. Tractors are something else these days, aren't they? Uh, we think about his papa and what little he had on this farm to farm with. And now we feel so privileged. Of course, we're paying a big. <laughs> We pay a hefty price for that privilege. Yes, we do. But we do feel very fortunate in this day and age farming. We really do. And we've got little ones out there in this heat. And I hate that. We're going to pull our bull this year. So we won't have any little ones born. But we had to, well, we have a, more than one herd. And on one of our herds, we didn't have enough heifers to warrant getting a whole bull for the whole herd is what I mean, like forever. So we just said we'll rent one this year and we did and we loved him, Petey. I know y'all, a lot of y'all gonna remember Petey. I'm just trying to make it pretty. And so anyway, we, we had to, beggars can't be choosers, you know, we had to get Petey when we could get Petey. And so we got him a little early last year and so he's got babies hitting the ground this year and they're so sweet and cute and I love it. But they've got a big old pond and even the little ones, they get down in that pond with mom like, oh, okay. And they know to go get in the shade in the pond. So <laughs> you ready, baby? I am ready. I'm ready. What'd you say if I didn't let you eat it tonight? It's going to be a mutiny. It was going to be a mutiny. going to be a mutiny. We did wait till the next day. And that was hard for it was, you. It was tough. Baby. It was tough. I'm telling you, it's tough. <laughs> Doesn't it look pretty? Man. All right, how big? I had to go look at it just more than four o'clock before I left. No, you did yeah. not. <laughs> it sounded good, though, didn't it? It did. <laughs> now, how big? You want about like about that? that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That'd be great. That's too much, but I'm going to eat it anyway. Okay. Well, this piece ain't going to be very pretty, you know. It, That's good. Well, I don't know. That's pretty to me. It's pretty, isn't it? That's pretty. Can I show everybody? Absolutely, baby. Absolutely. <laughs> Okay. Mm -hmm. How gorgeous is that? Y'all come here. I'm gonna give them. Uh, can give me, I have give a little bite? bite. Give them a bite. Give them a bite. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <clears throat> here we go. One for y'all. Isn't that pretty? See all the layers, and letting it stay in there all night. Look, they just cut through like cake. Yum. Are y'all ready? Do you see all the pretty layers? You can just cut right down through it like cake now that we let it soften. Yum. All right, you ready, baby? I'm ready, I'm ready. Here's mm -hmm. your bite. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now you tell everybody what you think. I think maybe. You think that, maybe what? Maybe that's a big enough piece. <laughs> So Maybe. is it good? It's good, baby. It's good. Good, good. It was worth the wait. Was it worth the wait? It was worth you the wait. You see how it lets the graham crackers get like cake, you yep. know, and soft instead mm -hmm. of crunchy? Mm -hmm. All right. I'm waiting on you, baby. You waiting on me? I'm waiting okay. on you, baby. <laughs> like one dog waits on another. Like one dog waits on another. <laughs> All right, guys. Y'all will make this, and we'll see y'all next time. Mm. Mm. That's good. Good, darling.